Shalom, shalom, shalom. This is Aria, H-O-I-N-Y. First and foremost, I want to say, Oh, praise your heart, and double honors for the elders of H-O-I. All right, I'm back again with another lesson, and today's lesson is called How to Read the Bible. So there's a clip from the Book of uh, Book of Eli, one of my favorite movies, right? And it's going to talk about him reading the Bible. Do you really read the same book every day? Now, Will you read some to me? Please. All right, let's sit on that. So, like the book of Eli, you know, she was asking if he could read the book to her, which was the Bible, right? And we're going to start off with the first scripture, which is Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. It says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, which is the Bible. Seek ye out of the book of the Bible and read. None of one of these shall fail, which are the prophecies in these Bible. None shall want her mate, which means no other book can compare to the Bible, right? The King James Bible, not the holy, not the unholy Quran, right? <laughs> not all these other books, right? None of these Mormon books, none of these garbage books, they're all garbage compared to the Bible because the Bible has all the answers. Any question you can think of, the Bible has it, man. It has all the answers, man. All right? And it's through the spirit of the Most High God where it keeps his law, statute, commandments in the history of the Israelites. All right? So this is all pertaining to the Israelites and how to understand the Bible, how to read it. All right? So now let's go to Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, and verse 7. Verse 7, wisdom is the principal thing. All right, so therefore get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. So in order to understand this Bible, you got to get wisdom. Wisdom is the key. All right? And then through that, you'll get understanding. You'll understand your situation. You'll understand what's going on. All right? What's going on in the world today. All right? So with that, let's get, uh, let me see. Isaiah chapter 28 verse 9 This is the key to understand the Bible Isaiah chapter 28 verse 9 It says Whom shall he teach knowledge right? And whom shall he teach to make understand doctrine Them that are weaned from the milk And drawn from the breast So it's asking Who are you going to teach knowledge to Through these scriptures Who will understand the doctrines right? It's them that are weaned from the milk Which is the basics that are practicing the brace, that are practicing the basics and drawn from the breast. Like a baby, you got to understand the basics of these scriptures. Right? And then, verse 10. For precept must be upon precept. Precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line. Here a little and there a little. So that's how you understand the Bible, by precept upon precept. Now, let's go to my sword Bible. And let's find the definition for what a precept is. Uh, precept is Strong's Light, uh, H6673. In Hebrew, is Zav Zav, or definition is command or ordinance, which means an order or oracle. And if you go down here, it says it also can mean a commandment. So a precept can also be known as an, a, a commandment, right? So precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. Like, for example, let's go to, let me see, uh, Exodus 19 and 6. This is Exodus chapter 19, verse 6. This is one precept right here. He shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. So the Most High is saying the children of Israel are going to be priests and a holy nation. Right? So we're special. Now, if you go to Revelations chapter 5, verse 10, it could back it up what we're saying. For Revelation chapter 5, verse 10, and has made unto us our God, kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. So the precept is of Isaiah going back to what it was saying in Exodus, and then you're jumping to Revelation. That's how you go through precepts to understand the Bible. Because the Bible would say you need two or more witnesses, right? So this is the account from Revelation and it's the account from the book of Exodus, right? Now let's go to 
Let me see. Psalms 119, I think. Psalms 119. And verse 10. No, no, 104. It's lucky. Psalms 119, 104. It says, Through thy precepts I get understanding. Therefore I hate every false way. Because through the precepts you will get understanding. You can't just read one scripture and then you'll get the full understanding. That's not how it works. You got to back it up with multiple scriptures so you can get the full picture. Because the Bible is like a jigsaw puzzle. So like a jigsaw puzzle, you got to know which pieces fit correctly. Right? Like the thing with the Bible, you can't just read it from the beginning to the end. You can't just read from Genesis to Revelation. You won't get the full understanding. You'll get the story background, but you won't get the full understanding of the Bible. Right? So you got to go through the precepts. Now let's go to Psalms 111 and verse 10. Now this is very important right here. It says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So fear the most high and you will get wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. See, so for the people that so-called blacks or Hispanics, the American, that if they're reading the Bible for generation and generation and they still don't understand it, it's because they haven't been keeping the commandments. But as you keep the commandments, which is 613 laws, that's when you will understand the Bible. It's like your mind will start to open through the spirit of the Lord. All right. So one, one more thing. Let me get Psalms 147 and 19. This is why it's important. Because not everybody can understand this Bible, but only the Israelites. Why? Because Psalms 147 and 19, he showed his word unto Jacob, right? His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. So the laws were only given to us. He have not dealt so with any nation. As for his judgments, they have not known them. So only the Israelites can understand the Bible and keeping these commandments, right? Let me show you why. Let me get. Uh, Daniel's chapter 12 and verse 10 It's the book of Daniel chapter 12 and verse 10 Many shall be purified and made white And tried Which are the Israelites Because we're pure and we're white But the wicked Which are the other heathen nations Right Shall do wickedly And none of the wicked Shall understand Which is what These commandments Which is what The Bible The scriptures But the wise shall understand Those are the Israelites Right I'll get another one. This is another precept comparing to that. Let me get Psalms chapter 39 and verse 24. Psalms 39 verse 24. As his ways are plain unto the holy. That's the Israelites. You see, and his ways is what? These understanding the scriptures. So are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. So the wicked can't understand these scriptures, man. You know, so we say, oh, praise the Lord. Let's see. Uh, let me get... um. Let me see. All right, we'll go back to understanding the milk of the scriptures. So we'll go to First Peter's chapter two and verse two. Start at verse one. It's First Peter chapter two and verse one. Wherefore lay aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and all of evil speakings. All right. So the Lord said, you got to go away with all of this stuff, man. You got to come in this truth as a new man. All right. Cast away the old man, kill the old man, and come as a new man. So put aside that malice, the guile, the hypocrisies, the envies, and evil speaking against your people, right? And as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow hereby. So once you come in this truth, you can be coming in from the world. You can be like 50, 40, 30. It don't even matter whatever age you are. But that's knowledge of the world. That's not knowledge of the Bible, of the scriptures, and these commandments. But as you get this truth through the spirit of the most high, now you'll be known as a newborn babe. And then you got to start off by what? Casting out all the doctrines that you learn, man. All the ways of Christianity, Catholicism, Buddhism, Islam, all the ways of religion, all these works. The Most High didn't give us religion. Right? And as a newborn babe, what? The newborn babe, it desires milk. It don't desire uh, chicken or macaronis or, or fish and all that. It desires milk because that's what it needs to grow to keep its body healthy. Right, and as it grow, and then it start to get teeth, and it grows like probably one or two years, then they can probably eat some, some bread or a piece of chicken, whatever. Right. So it desires the milk, and the milk is through the scriptures. It means the basic, like what, like knowing that you're an Israelite, the curses in Deuteronomy 28, how Christ looks in the Book of Revelation, 
right? The heathen nations, which are the other nations that are not Israelites, and what are their true biblical nationality? Knowing that the kingdom of heaven is only for you, right? And that you got to keep the commandments, right? And looking up the 613 commandments. Those are the basics of the scriptures that you have to know. All right? Now, let me go to, let me see, I think Hebrews 5 and 12. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 5, and verse 12. For when for the time you ought to be teachers, you have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God. So you're going to need teachers in this truth that can teach you, like elders or people that have been in this truth for like probably five years, six years. They have a good foundation of the truth, right? So they can teach you the scriptures through the doctrine. And then once you understand that, you can start to do your own thing, the spirit of the most high. But you got to continue to grow through the spirit. And it says, and I'll become such as have need of milk and not a strong meat. See? So you need the milk, the basics, man. All through life, people all go throughout the basics. So you need the basics, man. You don't like if you're playing ball and you're not just gonna start and then you're gonna be on you're gonna be uh the captain of the team, whatever, you know, dunking and all this, doing three point shots and all that, windmill dunks and all that. Nah, you gotta start with the basics. Right? The basics is what's gonna help you. You gotta start with learning your pivot foot. Learning the defensive stance, learning how to shoot with proper form, you know, learning how to exercise to keep your body right, eat healthy. Those are the basics, right? So what if that in carnal world, in the world of uh, the so-called white man, what about through the spirit of Most High, right? Which is teaching our people the law, statute, commandments, right? So let me get uh, let me see, Acts chapter eight verse thirty. No, no, Acts chapter eight. Yeah. Let me see. Acts chapter 8, verse 30. It says, And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? See, so Philip was asking, Do you understand what you're reading? And he said, How can I, except some man should guide me? See, so you need a guidance. And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. Why? So he can teach him the scriptures. Right? See? next verse it says what it says the place of the scripture which he read read was this you see so that's teaching through the scriptures right and that's what you need you can't just wake up in the truth and then think you know everything everything takes time but you got to be diligent right because look let me show you something the thing about these scriptures uh let me see john 5 and 39 that's a good one yeah this is the book of john chapter 5 and verse 39 it says, search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life. So you got to search the scriptures. Why? Because it goes through the volume of the book. From Old Testament, which is right here at the top, to New Testament, and the Apocrypha, which is down here. Now, the Apocrypha is the scriptures that's not even talked about, which are the hidden books that's been missing, that's been taken out of the Holy Bible. Right? From the King James Version. Now, let me show you this. Where is it right here? You see, this right here is the whole King James Bible. That's why we only deal with the King James Bible. Old Testament at the top right here. Apocrypha, which is the missing link, and the New Testament. Now, why the Apocrypha is important? Because that's the book that was used during the time where the Israelites were stuck in the, um, the Greek captivity. And they thought they were Grecians, right? They were forced to be Greeks. And that's what comes with the New Testament. In the book of Galatians, when he said they need to Jew no Greek. This is Isaiah 33 and 6. It says, Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength and salvation for the fear of the Lord is his treasure. See? So with this wisdom and knowledge, is going to help you to keep you uh, disciplined and to keep you focused in the truth. Because of the prophecy that's going on right now. So, what we say is, you know, continue to endure. Right? And a final one. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 15 It says study to show thyself approved unto God A workman that needeth not to be ashamed Rightly dividing the word of truth Alright So keep studying the Spirit of the Most High You know let's keep enduring Let's keep going stronger and stronger in this truth So with that we say Oh praise you about Shemiel Shai And call me Ashura the brother Ariya I'll be back again with another lesson Alright Shalom